Hey guys, Keith Carver here with Vercast. I just want to uh, go over a few things. A lot of people have been asking me for another review of how Vercast works and uh, some of the best ways to get Vercast up and running. And But before I do that, I want to point out a couple things here that are very important. One here is support. If you click on support, that'll take you to one of our support sites and it is a uh, typical uh, ticket system. Another one is the click me button. If you hit the click me button, you'll see the VAP chat. We're going to be changing this video very soon. Uh, once we change that video, it's going to recommend that you click on VAP chat to ask any questions. Once you click on VAP chat, you'll see that the visitors chat pops up. You put in your name and your email and you begin the chat. Now, the really cool thing about this is that we've got a few people that are working uh, for us as support staff. And no matter where that support staff is, whether they're on their computer, on their iPad, on their Android, or on their uh, iPhone, no matter where they are, they're going to get a message saying, hey, uh, you've got a customer that has a question on how to do something. So I just wanted to point out these, those two very important features. So if you have a question, an immediate question, you can always hit the click me button. We're probably going to change that to let people know that it's live support actually. Uh, and there are going to be videos on how to do things inside this as well. So again, VAP chat is the key button to hit. Uh, so remember that if you can, and when you're done doing that, you just minimize that. Okay, so let's assume that you're already a member, you're a paid member, uh, and by the way, if you are, congratulations, you've made a great decision, and you want to log in. So what you do is you go to vercast.com, and then you click on the login button. Once you click on the login button, you put in the username that was given to you and your password, and you just simply click on login. Now, depending on the service that you have or the package that you have, there will be different things in here. Uh, one thing that's important to mention is that once you log in, uh, there's a mention here about joining our affiliate program if you have not done so already, uh, and you'll get 30% for each sale. And just for signing up, we're going to put $10 into your account. And as you scroll down here, uh, you'll see a, a call me button if you want to call somebody for an emergency situation. Uh, Let's say for, for some strange reason the site is down or there's something that you can't figure out or you've lost your login and you've got an immediate situation, you just simply give us a phone call and it'll go to a, a, up to three different people to answer the question for you. We also have several uh, how-to videos in here as well that we always encourage you to uh, take a look at and watch them all because sometimes it does take a little while to understand something that's a little bit different than what you might be used to. Now, um, the very first thing you really want to do is you want to go to My Webcasts. Now, when you go to My Webcasts, you're not going to see anything in here. All this information here will be blank. You'll end up clicking on the word New to create a new webcast. And that's what I'm going to do right now is create a new webcast. Now, there are two parts here that are very, very, very important to remember. Part one is that you need to create a webcast. Uh, and think of this as a radio station. You need to create a radio station. But... In order for anything to be heard on that radio station, you need to create uh, or you need to hire somebody to, cre to show up or appear uh, at a certain time. Maybe it's uh, uh, 10 to 2. They need to be there for a certain time. And that's called a session. So we have a, a webcast or a room that we create or a radio station that we create. And then with every radio station, you have to create a session. Many times people only create one session and they use that one session all the time, but you can create multiple sessions. I don't want to confuse you here, but I do want to make sure that you understand that there are really two parts to creating a webinar room that works and that you can share. All right. Just as there are two type, there are two parts to creating a webcast, there are two types of webcasts. There are public webcasts and there are private webcasts. Let's first uh, create a new webcast that is public. And before I do that, I want to really emphasize what is a public webcast. Well, a public webcast is a webcast that is open to the public, meaning you don't have to register to see that webcast. A private webcast is um, kind of the more traditional type of webcast where uh, I'll even use the name GoToWebinar. is very popular with that. In order to see a GoToWebinar webcast, you have to register saying, yes, I'm going to come to your webcast. You register, 
then you get an email saying, okay, here is the information that you need in order to get to that webcast. And oh, by, don't, by the way, don't share that information. That's all well and good. But we like to say, listen, there are situations where you might want to have a public webcast where you just provide a link on Facebook saying, hey guys, come to my webcast. And you just click on the link and boom, you've got more customers there right away. Uh, again, there are two different types of webcasts, but every single one requires you to create a webcast room and a webcast session. This particular account that I have here allows me to create 10 different webcast rooms. So I can, in a sense, uh, have 10 webcast rooms running at the same time, meaning I could have 10 different moderators inside here at the same time, one moderator talking about another, another one talking about a different situation. So it allows you to have different people working at the same time within your webcast. So right now I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I can cr actually create one more webcast in here. We're going to do that because this is what you'll initially do. Again, what I said at the beginning here when I went to this page, this is going to be empty. There's nothing going to be here. You have to click on new. In addition to that, you also have to create a moderator. Now, I've already created moderators, and we'll talk about that at a later date. Um, but you do need to create a moderator if you are going to have somebody other than yourself as a moderator. I don't have to worry about this because I'm going to be a moderator myself. I'm going to initially create a uh, public webcast. With a public webcast, you can also have a password if you wanted to. You don't need to. I usually don't have a password. I don't think that that's necessary, but if I hover over anything, it'll tell you what you need to do. The password is protected to the room from unwanted visitors, and it needs to be 0 to 64 characters. Uh, this might be something that uh, uh, you might want to employ in a membership site. Say, listen, you don't need to register for every... Let's assume that uh, you have a membership site, and every week you have a webcast for all your members. Well, you might want only the members of that webcast to be able to attend to that webcast, so you let them know what your special password is, but they don't have to register every single time to join the webcast. That's the important thing about a public webcast that a lot of companies miss, and they always make it that you have to register. Well, imagine having to register every single darn week just to see, uh, just to go to a meeting room. Well, you don't have to do that with us, and thank goodness you don't. All right, so let's move on. We're not going to have a we're not going to have a password in this particular instance. Uh, you also have the ability to make this room your room, a special room to you that matches the colors of your website, that is your um, design. And you can create the the webcast skin by by clicking over to the left hand side by clicking over Manage Webcast Skins. Now I've created web several webcast skins already, so I'm just going to click the download uh, the, the down button here. And uh, I, I happen to like the blue color. Uh, there are a bunch of other different colors in here. Uh, coffee Time, uh, Give Me Skin, Relaxing Blue. Actually, I'll just go with that Relaxing Blue because I can't remember what, what that one is. All right, so the next one is your exit URL. Every, every webcast has an exit button on the top right-hand side. Uh, and you have the ability to, when somebody hits the exit button, to have it take them to a particular website. Now, you might be an affiliate of a product, or you might own a product, so you might be giving a presentation on a particular product, and when you hit the exit button, it's going to take them to that product. So, for instance, since I'm the owner of HTT, uh, owner of Vercast, I'm just going to do Vercast.com. Now, it's very important to remember this as well. And, by the way, we're nine minutes into this um, broadcast, and you might have to listen to this broadcast two or three times because there's a lot of stuff to remember in here, and I know there is. When you enter in an exit URL, you also need to exit, enter in a logo and a promotional image if you want, and a promotional URL. If you do that all at the same time, it'll all get recognized. If you only do just the logo, many times it just doesn't take. You need to enter in all of this information, the logo, the image, and the URL all at the same time. So I'm just going to make this up as we go here. Uh, let's see. Select that one. My promotional image, uh, I'm going to select, uh, let's see. This is a picture of New Orleans when I was in New Orleans last week. 
and the promotional URL. I'm going to make it uh, Vercast as well. But I can make this, I can actually make this an ad. Let's say that I do a show every single week and somebody's following me and say, hey, Keith, I love your show. Uh, I see that there's an advertising box on the bottom left-hand side of the, of the webcast. Can I uh, pay you to have uh, a, uh, an advertisement there? Uh, and, you know, depending on how much money it is, the answer is going to be absolutely yes, you can, right? So when anybody looks at the image on the bottom right-hand side, and you'll be able to see that in a minute, you'll be able to click on that. All right, webcast name. Uh, it can be a whole bunch of different webcast name. I'm not sure exactly what we're going to do, but uh, let's say that we're going to do it on Vercast, and we're going to do a, a webcast on Vercast, right? So we're just going to say, uh, just going to keep it on. Uh, uh, let's take, let's call it the power of Vercast, and I think I've used that in the past. Um, times 100. I'm just making that up. And in here, you do need to put a description in here, and it even says put a description in here. Now, here's a really cool feature. In here, you can actually put a video if you want. It can be anything you want. This is 100% editable, however you want, whatever you want, whenever you want, and we're going to show you where it is by the color of this, okay? So I'm going to center this, and I'm going to say... Um, Highly recommended by Keith Carberry, right? All right, and I'm going to bold this. And I'm going to bold this as well. And I'm also going to change the color to a red. And maybe I'll italicize it as well. There you go. Highly recommended by Keith Carberry. And I'm going to click on Submit. Now remember... What I've done here is I've created the webcast room. I have not created the webcast session. I've created just the webcast room, and I've used a particular coloring scheme. Now, what I need to do, a webcast room is like a radio station, but a radio station uh, does nothing until they have uh, an on-air personality and a time slot for that on-air personality. So what we call that is a webcast session. And if you go from right to left, you'll see that you have the ability to change what the look and feel here. And if this was a private webinar, anybody who signs up to the private webinar, the names would be in here. Anybody that would, uh, if you want to see the webcast information, the details of the webcast information, you would click on here. If you want to delete it, you could do that. And if you wanted to edit it, you could do what we, we could edit what we just did. But for now, Although we may go in here, we're going to go in here and get the webcast information shortly. We want to create a webcast session. And this says Browse Webcast Sessions. And again, there are two parts to creating a webinar. First is the webinar room, and the part two is the webinar session. So we click on that uh, folder here, and we notice that it's completely blank. So we have to create a new webcast session. And as you can see, it says here, webcast is called the power of webcast times 100. And the list of webcast sessions shows there are none. There are no time slots available. There are no time slots created for this room. So we're going to create a new session. And we're going to call this new session, uh, let's see. Let's see if I have something in here. Um, okay, making webcasts easy, part one. Now, one of the really cool features here is that we have what's called a uh, timer in here, and we can have this room set up to go on April, uh, let's say, let's say we want this room to go on April 12th, okay? And uh, we want to have this, this uh, webinar occur on, um, let's say, 3 p.m., which would really be 15 o'clock, right? And I'm going to do 1501. So the room is not really going to open up until one minute after 3 o'clock. Now, this is a really cool addition that we have here that we just added on recently. And I'm just going to point out how it actually works again. April 12th is a day, and the time is 1501. 
I'm in the East Coast. Now, if I lived on the West Coast, based on my IP, you would enter in the exact same time. Now, because you are on the West Coast and I'm on the East Coast, I would see this as uh, occurring at really 12 o'clock instead of uh, 1501 because there's a three hour difference, right? So we have this system set up based on wherever you're located, whatever time you want to have the webcast, that's the time that you enter. It has nothing to do with, with server time. It has nothing to do with makeup time. This is the time in which you live, and it's a 24-hour clock. Oops, let me just uh, go back here again, complete it. All right, so here is really a nice feature. I call this my webinar waiting room. Um, and the reason why I call it the webinar waiting room is because if somebody has the link to go to this page, they can go to this page, and they can see whatever you have in here. Let's say you have a video in here. You can put that video in here and promote your uh, promote your webcast. Say, hey, guys, we've got a great webcast that's coming up on uh, uh, April 12th at 3 p.m. Eastern time. You need to be here, and here's why. And just give them a little excitement. Give them something to, to sink their teeth in. Or you can actually create another link. Hey, guys, you know what? I know I have a great webcast coming up on April 12th, 2014, but... If you want to get in early without having to see the webcast, here's a special link. And you can get people to the special link, right? You can do anything you want in here. This is a, what you see is what you get. And just to give you an idea on how this works, um, I'm going to do, uh, let's see. That's the code for the timer, the percent timer percent. And in here I'm going to write... Uh, the okay, the webinar will begin when the time reaches zero. Again, I can do whatever I want here. I can bold it. I can underline it. I can change the color to red. Uh, I can actually change the color here to something else. Or I can uh, simply uh, uh, highlight it as well to uh, a yellow. So now the timer is going to be in black, but it's going to be highlighted in yellow. Hopefully. I, I actually have never done that before, so we'll see what happens. I can also make this a little bit bigger. I can bold this if I want. Uh, there are a bunch of different things that we can do. All right. Um, I can also uh, enter in... Uh, So let's, let's say um, I, I actually share what they can expect and the pricing uh, shows up at 297 and I let them know that uh, we're going to have a special deal. Uh, I know you guys would buy it at 297 but please wait a couple days. We're going to give you a better price, something like that. There's so many things we can do. So right here, I'm just going to put a bunch of X's and I'm going to go to YouTube. And on YouTube, I'm just going to go to, uh, let's see. Um, I'm just going to click on this one. I don't know why. And I'm going to uh, embed this one. Share. Embed. That's a good size. 560 to uh, 315. I don't want any of these checked off. I'm going to copy this. I just want to show you how easy this actually is. I'm just going to click on source code and replace all these X's with the YouTube video. Okay? And I'll move the source code. And as you can see, the video is already here, right? So we get the timer. This webinar will begin when the timer reaches zero. Please watch this amazing video on what to expect in this exciting presentation. Maybe I'll bold this. Um, and maybe I'll also uh, give this a little yellow right there. Okay? You know what? No, I won't underline it because I got the underline up here. I'm going to actually remove the underline here. Oops. 
and I'm gonna put the underline in here and italicize it italicize and underline okay so we get the yellow red yellow going on right and if you want to play this you can play it in here if you really wanted to and we could also obviously add more features if we wanted to down here uh, Whatever. We look forward to seeing you on this one time live webcast. And then I hit the submit button. Okay, so now what I have done is I've actually created a webinar room and a web session, a webinar session for that webinar room or webcast room. Okay, so let's go back here to see, as you can see, I can hit the start button. I'm going to actually do that right now so, since it's here just to make sure it looks okay. Now, as I do that, uh, it's going to be a little big, so I'm going to reduce the size here. Just bear with me one minute here, guys. And as soon as I hit the allow button, you're going to see me. But notice over here, you see the picture that I uh, uploaded. This picture on the top left-hand side next to my name is sideways. That needs to be fixed, obviously, so it doesn't look that great. But right over here, you're going to actually see my picture. I'm going to wave. Hi. <laughs> so here I am. All right, so now I'm going to uh, leave the room, but you can see what you can see on the room. You can actually record the room. Uh, there are a bunch of other actions. You can uh, uh, create a presentation, upload a presentation. There are a couple features in here that are not working yet that will be working soon, and we do apologize for that. But the most important part is the presentation and desktop sharing. Those features are working extremely well, uh, and the poll editor works uh, extremely well also. The big thing that works, the best thing that works, is that if you were to bring in a moderator, there is zero latency, meaning that it's almost like it's like talking on a phone. So you can actually have up to 10 people here in the room talking at the same time if you wanted that, or two people talking at the same time conversing without any latency. You don't have to have any earphones to cover up things. It's really working extremely well. All right, so I'm going to actually hit the exit button here, and you'll notice when I hit the exit button, it's going to take me back to Vercast because that's the site that I told it to take me to. Now, one of the things that you won't see as a uh, end user, well, let me just let me actually go back a couple bit here, a couple of things here. I can actually change the, the uh, video quality up to uh, 1280 by 720 wide. I can change. I, mean, I usually change it to 640 because it doesn't it does make it look a little bit better. Uh, Let's see, what else can we get? Oh, the chat button. This is really cool, the chat. I can actually change the chat. Uh, I might want to remove the general chat. I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to show you why. Uh, I always remove private messages because I don't like the idea of sending a private message to somebody uh, while we're chatting. I usually remove that. And if, depending on the presentation, if it's a real serious presentation and it's not just a, a regular uh, show where people get together, I usually uh, remove the uh, list. So you as a member, a member cannot see that. And the other thing that's available that's, is going to be the question board. So if I get out of here, as you can see, it's only the question board. Um, So let's say that uh, I wanted to, somebody wanted to type this to me. What is the best time to meet with you? You would click the send button. Now, here's something that's really cool about this. I can reply to that person that wrote to me by clicking on the reply, and I can also make it visible to everyone. So if I just clicked on reply, I could, I could write uh, 2 p.m. tomorrow and then put in my telephone number at 617-510-8923. I can actually do that and then click the send button. Nobody's going to see that but the person who asked me that question. If that question was something that uh, I want everybody to see, I would just simply click the visible button and then rewrite that information and then click the send. and then click the send. Now everybody gets to see that chat. This is very important uh, for controlling the audience. 
It really does help. It's a nice picture, by the way, isn't it? <laughs> I really do like that picture. Um, so you get the ability to really control the audience. And again, this could be an ad. This could be anything. You don't have to have a picture here if you don't want to. Uh, and I can make this image much bigger. I'm just using this. I can also do this, by the way. Watch this. Whoa. Here I am, live in person, a lot bigger, right? Uh, and I can move this, too. These are tabs that are flexible to you as a moderator and to you as a user, okay? All right, so let's uh, move on here. I'm going to hit the exit button, and you'll notice that because I hit the exit button, it is going to take me to Vercast, and it did like I, like I asked. I'm just going to hit the exit here and leave that page. All right, so we know that everything is working real well, but that is for you as a moderator. What about the end user? Let's go back here. And let's take a look at the end user. How does the end user actually find you? Well, you have to click on the webcast information. These are all icons. One, two, three, four, five, six. Very important icons. Get to know them. Get to love them. I always go from right to left because I'm a lefty. And it's more comfortable for me to go that way. Uh, so here I click on the webcast information. Inside the webcast information, we know uh, a few things. What type of skin color are you using? What's the exit URL? Uh, what's the name of the webcast? What's the login link, which we're going to check on in a minute? Uh, what's the promotional URL, which is the same? The promotional URL and the exit URL can be different if you want. And what's the logo, which is usually in the top left-hand corner of the webcast, look like? Now, obviously, as I mentioned, this is sideways, so we'd need to fix that and, and replace it. We're not going to do that for today. But right now, what we're going to do is we're going to copy this. I'm going to open up a new web page. I'm going to paste that and I'm going to go to the site. Now this is what we've just created. As you notice one of the features that I did try uh, was to highlight this in yellow that does not work but we've got in here that uh, my webcast, my live webcast is going to occur three days, 16 hours, 49 minutes and 56 seconds from right now. Uh, the webinar will begin when the timer reaches zero. And what basically happens is that this room refreshes and it will ask you to enter in your name and email address. Pretty cool, huh? Once you, not your name and email, just your name and hit enter. Once you do that, then you join the webcast. Uh, and at the same time, somebody can watch this video if they so desire. I don't even know what this video is. Email marketing is huge. Email marketing. All right, so it's all about email marketing and how big email marketing is. And by the way, it is. And pretty soon we will be doing a webcast on email marketing because that's uh, something that we're uh, going to be releasing very shortly. All right, so let's go over real quick what we've done so far. We've created a webinar room. We've created a webinar session. We've created what I call my webinar waiting room. This room, by the way, is my favorite room. Uh, not too many other people, if anybody else, has a room like this that I know of where you can have them go to the room and really use this room as a marketing room where you can actually sell or pre-sell the customer. Imagine if you're going to be talking about, uh, <laughs> I actually just saw a commercial on OxyClean. Imagine if, imagine if you're going to uh, uh, provide a great deal on OxyClean and you can put a commercial right here that's 30 seconds long and say, hey guys, get ready for this great, fantastic webcast. We're going to be talking about OxyClean. You can click this link right now and get OxyClean for $20, but I'm telling you right now, you don't want to do that. You want to come to the webcast because we're going to give you a special deal when you come to the webcast, and you're going to be able to save over 100% of your money by coming to this webcast and getting OxyClean through this webcast. Whatever it is, there are so many things that you can do here. It's unlimited. You can actually um, iframe a game in here. I've done that as well. Uh, so if say, people are in the room... Uh, 25 minutes early, they can actually play a game for 25 minutes, some type of an arcade game if they want to in here. The, the opportunity in here uh, is to make money, to have fun, uh, to get people to know you, to like you, to trust you. There are other things in here that I've actually done where I've actually done a live webcast inside the webcast, letting people know, hey guys, uh, the webcast is going to start pr real soon, and it would be an actual live image of me here right here doing a live image before the webcast it's like a it's like a it's like the before the webcast webcast right how cool is that there it's unlimited what you can do in here because uh, it's a completely HTML uh, site 
that you can you can really uh, excel with. All right, let's move on. I know this is a real long uh, webcast, guys, and I really do apologize for that. Again, not webcast, I should say, uh, recorded uh, video. But I do want to get as much as I possibly can in here as fast as I possibly can just to really help people get up and running real fast. Now, people are going to say, yeah, but Keith, I want to have a private webinar. I want to be able to grow my list. I want to do that, and I want to do it real well. I'm going to show you exactly how you can do that, okay? And I'm going to show you the basic way on how to do that, okay? All right, first I'm going to show you an example of how you can set this room up, and then I'm going to show you how you can set it up real fast. I'm going to show you a, a page that I created uh, a few weeks ago. Actually, it's probably been about two months ago, but time goes by real fast, right? Here's a, here's a webcast sign-up uh, page that I created uh, actually January 14th. Uh, so we're talking three months ago. <laughs> I was thinking it was maybe two months ago. Time does go by fast, right? So this is a, a webinar, a live webinar uh, room uh, or uh, sign-up room that I created for private webinars, right? Uh, this is one that I did with Todd Gross and Dave Igo, and uh, basically says here, claim my spot. What are we going to be learning? Blah, blah, blah. And here's another button that says claim my spot. Um, and then here's, here's more comments. People who can comment actually on Facebook and add a comment if they wanted to. So let me show you what happens when people cl click claim my spot. When they click on claim my spot, uh, it says enter your email address below and reserve your seat. It's 100% free. The viral kiosk system fully endorsed by Todd Gross. Uh, webcast participation, the room owner requires us, require that, that uh, you register for this event. We ask for your email address, your first name, your last name, and then you click the submit button. Once you click that submit button, I'll show you exactly where that went. Uh, let's see if I can find it here. This would be the... I'm just trying to find it here. Um, let's see. It right here it says here the bio kiosk system so i'm going to take a look at my webcast participants i'm just going to go over this real fast these are a list of the webcast pass, uh, webcast participants i'm going to click the back key uh only because i didn't really want uh, people to see too much of those emails but I'm go back in here real fast webcast participants and show you what i can actually do here i can actually send mail to all those participants this is a video that shows you how to send mail and what you can use so for instance if you want to use the first name these are certain tags you can use percent name equals name percent surname equals last name percent password equals the password to attend the webcast percent enter link as you can see it's a capital L there and it says please note the capital L must be capitalized or the L must be capitalized uh, the webcast URL location so um, this is this might be so you might want to remind people to come to the webcast you can send them that uh, after the webcast you can send them a, a, a confirmation you can send them an email you can send them as many emails as you want using our email system and it's a very nice autoresponder system it's not flashy in any sense but if you want to line up 10 20 100 emails to go out over, over the next 100 days you can certainly do that using this system and again, it's fully HTML compatible, and there's certain things that you can do uh, to send them that email, uh, just like any HTML email that you might want to send to somebody. And again, we have instructions on how to do that. Guys, basically what I'm saying is that this is a full-blown, full-service system to help you grow your business at a very, very, very low cost. It's already set up. It's already done for you. You virtually only need to set up a few things and you're up and running. Now, because I know how to do this, I can virtually set up this room in about one minute. I can set up a new room and get people to come to the room by letting people know on Facebook, hey guys, I'm in a certain room. Come visit me. I'm going to be talking about how to make money online. However you want to set up it, however you want to set up your business, you can do this. And you can grow your list, and you can email your list. Now, we've got some great things coming in the future. I'm not going to share that with you, what we have in the future coming. But we've got some really fantastic features coming that are going to knock your socks off. What do you really need to know? Well, how many people can come to the room? 
up to 500 right now. If you wanted more than 500 people, you just simply contact us and we will get you uh, more than 500 seats. If you know that you can have 1,000 people, you need to contact us and we'll make that happen for you. Yes, this software does work. It's working extremely well and uh, our deliverability on our emails is working extremely well also and we're doing more things with our email service. Again, as I mentioned, again, knock your socks off. Remember, most companies only provide private webcasts. And if you do the research on the growth of public webcasts, you'll see that public webinars are growing far faster than private webinars because people don't like to provide their information. They want to get to know you, like you, and trust you first, right? Uh, in addition to that, if you're holding a webinar every single day, or if you're holding a membership webinar every single week, you don't want to have to capture their names every time you're holding the webcast, right? Well, with most systems, they have to enter in their name and email address just to simply attend. With our system, you don't need to do that. You just set the meeting to a public meeting. Now, we have different features in here, as I mentioned before. Uh, I'm just going to go right to uh, vercast.com and just go to pricing. Just so you can see that we really have, we have three levels right now. We have the pro level, which is one brandable room uh, with 200 attendees. We have our best uh, product, which is uh, three brandable rooms. And then we have our uh, featured product, which is 10 brandable rooms. What does that mean? I'm going to give you an example of why somebody might want to have at least, at minimum, three rooms. Uh, really, at minimum, two rooms, so you need to go with our best value. We've done this several times where we have a webcast that we're doing, and when we're giving that presentation, we're talking about, hey guys, we've got a special webcast going on right now for those who buy our product. And once you buy our product, you're going to give be given a special link to join our live webcast that's private right now. So I might have myself doing the first webinar or webcast and my partner doing the private webcast for those people who have purchased the product. Isn't that smart? The answer is yes, it is smart, by the way. <laughs> so if you notice, our prices are very, very competitive, highly competitive, by the way, with what we have to offer. And, and I have not done this in a while, so well, actually I'm not going to mention it, but uh, we're always free for the first 30 days. So if you sign up for this, it's going to be free for the first 30 days, and then it's going to be just $34.97 per month for three 500-seat rooms. You can't do better than that, given all the stuff that we have to offer for you. Uh, I didn't even go, I didn't even talk about our presentation, uh, and I, I just have to do that right now. I have to talk about our presentation. If I go into uh, our presentation system here, let's see if I can do that. I'm going to go into another, a different room here, and let me make this room fit the way that I want it to fit here. All right, this is a different room. Here I am. If I click on Actions, and then I click on Presentation, I see that somebody's actually in the room here. <laughs> if I click on Presentation, you'll see that I have several presentations in here. I've got many, many presentations. Some of them are animated presentations. I can't remember which ones are animated and which ones might not be animated, but uh, let's see if I can find something. Uh, I'm going to try gonna try this one here, see if it's an animated presentation. What I mean by that is slide in and slide it out, fade in, fade out. Those are animated presentations. And we're one of the few companies that offer animated presentations. Most of them just offer next slide, next slide. If you want to just go to the next slide, you certainly can do that. But if you want to go to the next animation, meaning you might have uh, uh, this, this line sliding in, the next line sliding in, you can do that with our system here. I just don't know if this was one that uh, offers animation and it doesn't look like it does. Let's see if I can find one here that does. Just so you can get an idea of how that works. That one doesn't either. But you get an idea of how nice this uh, system works. Now, because we're looking at the administrator side, what does the customer see? The customer only sees right here. They do not see all these different slides on the left-hand side. Uh, you can actually keep notes on the left-hand side to help you. You can put this on autopilot. Many different features that you can use here. All right, I'm going to exit out of here. 
and of course this one goes to Vercast as well. And remind you that you can just hit the click me button and the VAP chat to have a conversation with somebody uh, online at just virtually any time that you want to have a chat with. Okay, that ends our very long presentation. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did sharing it with you. And I look forward, I really do look forward to seeing you in the back office asking us questions on something that I may have missed or may have forgotten in this presentation. If I didn't forget anything, great. If I did, I'm sure I did. Please, please ask away and we'll be happy to help you.